Hi, welcome to our unit tutorial from Robojax. We're going to see how we can use this 4x4 or 16 touch button TT229 uh, to press any button and the relay or something will be turned on. One of the 16 pin of Arduino will go on. I will show you how to use only 8 button of this with powering it up without Arduino as well. Enough. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link which is below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This chip is TTP229 uh, by Tontec and this is a capacitive touch and they are offering different size of this chip for single channel which has only one you can use it as a one touch button and they have uh, four they have eight and then now this is eight and sixteen this can be used as eight eight of this can be used and if eight of this is used we have eight buttons output one we just press from one to eight and the appropriate uh, output of one to eight will be on and you can control something without even Arduino. Maybe you can touch it and with Arduino you can do something fancier. So how it works is that you press a button and the output will be on and release the button, the output will be off. Each button individually, we will touch it and the communication program will communicate through the serial communication through the two pen and the result will be in microcontroller or in this case in Arduino and using Arduino you can send a command through a pen to do something. In our case I'm going to show you that when you press one, one, one pen will be out and then two, three, sixteen wires I've used this from Arduino Uno, you can use Arduino Mega, that will be fine. So sixteen touch button will be pressed and sixteen different output will be controlled either relay or whatever application that you have. I was searching a lot for this to see how we can use this and I came across this link. I came across this page how I waste my time. Prats, that's the name. So he has written here and I don't know where he got the code for this because it has SPI communication or maybe he has written it. I have no idea. But uh, this was his experience and stating that how to connect this in order for this to work and he has tested it and also provided the link to the code so I've, I've taken the code and modified it for this purpose but you can use it as a 16 channel originally when you receive this it will look like this and I have connected these pens here and after modifying it, so this is how it is. I have just connected these connectors and uh, this yellow jumper connector that you can see is just connecting the, if you call them first uh, uh, line, second, third, fourth, the second one, I'm just connecting it between these two. So th these two pin are, will be short circuit using this. jumper so this will be connected and in this mode one of the button at the time will be pressed if you disconnect this and connect these two you can press multiple buttons so let's say you can press two and four and simultaneously and the output will be detected here is the data sheet for this this is from Tontec TT and the module is TTP229 from Tontec it can work between 2.4 to 5.5 so you can use it at 3.3 volts as well on Arduino connecting it and it has a lot of details so it can be used as an 8 channel and 16 channel and the pens have been explained here I will provide you the link in case if you need to have a look at this data sheet Let me now show you the wiring. We have uh, used only four wires here. The two wire VCC is connected to the five volts of Arduino. Ground or GND is connected to the ground, the two wires. And then we have SCL and SDO. 
if do is connected to pin 2 the blue on this side that's the fourth wire connected to pin 2 the third wire SCL is connected to pin 3 digital pin 3 and the rest of the pins are just left now I'm using an, a, a relay here you can use a different type of relay if you wish but this relay has three pins here it says uh, VCC ground VCC will be connected to 5 volts ground will be connected to the ground N will be connected to the pin that when you touch this this will go on so I'm going to connect this N I'm not going to use 16 relay but this can control up to 16 relay for example and I'm going to connect this in a few pins to show you connected now the relay to pin 4 and the same way you have other relays you have to supply the voltage to the relay and connect it to the appropriate pin and for your load you th this these two pins are normally closed and these two pins are normally open so you will put uh, you will put your wires in these two pins from your let's say you're controlling a bulb or whatever it is so you will connect it in here this is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnected to turn it off so I will be connecting these two to the relay let me now explain the code the original code that I was searching to f solve this problem was found in this address so the credit goes to this uh, link uh, SPI is a communication method that is used a communication protocol it's part of Arduino SPI.h you don't have to worry as soon as you run this Arduino program it's included so this line is needed for that purpose I've modified this code to, so it can work easily for this purpose so you can control any channel we define the SCL the clock and the data pen so I call it SCL SCL is the same exact pen that is written on the board and SDO is written so I just put pen here so you can recognize this I'm using pen 2 and 3 for SDO pen 2 SCL pen 3 and after that I'm using all these pens for digital so from pen 4 up to 13 and when the pen for Arduino Uno finishes I'm using A0 these can be used also as digital pen so I have assigned all of these pens 16 pens for the output here the middle you don't have to worry and then we go directly to the setup here inside the setup I have to now define all the pens as an output then I'm using this for loop I have to write this 16 times so I'm using this for loop to write it for me otherwise I have to have 16 times copied and paste this but this I goes from 0 to 16 0 to 15 so which is 16 and then output pens it uh, calls the array that I showed you this I brings that uh, pen number and set it as an output after this also remember this should be 9600 baud in order for you to be able to read this this is also 9600 baud at this right corner it must match otherwise you will not be able to read it and then here the action happens here at the test event test event method this is a method or function here and this one shows uh, button released and button pressed in both cases when button is uh, pressed we set the output to low because the relay that I'm using is low trigger we say digital write output pen and then the, this is the actual button number this is the number that you see here number 7 because they put f up to 16 I subtracted 1 it become 15 so we have 0 to 15 which is 16 output so for the button we put this as a number and call this array value array pens so it will uh, show this pen and turn it low and when you release the button it does the same thing sets it high so this will take care of 
uh, high and low and it press this press and release this will be very quick but I put it in the same way so when the button is pressed the relay will be on and when the button is released the relay will be off if your relay is the opposite change this high to low and low to high and that's it inside the loop this will call that uh, test event uh, function now let me run the demonstration and here is a screen that shows at the bottom the activity and now, now the relay is connected to output 1 which is pin 4 so when I press this one the light is on the relay is on and also you can see on the right side of the screen that uh, button 1 is pressed and button 1 released now it's connected to 2 same thing you will see here and the relay will go on and off pen now it, this is connected to 13 button 10 is 13 and button 13 is pin 16 which is in this case A3, A0, 1, 2, A2 we tested this, this was just for normal operation 16 buttons, 16 output one, one at a time and this is now connected uh, now this is supposed to allow us to press more than one button let's say if, if I press 6 as you can see now it's oh it's very bad it shows 8 and 16 at the last line if, just uh, read the last lines please so I'm pressing 6 now it shows 6 and then also shows 14 I've not pressed it let me do 8 so these are the input button don't worry about the pen just look at the pen uh, at the uh, input it's it says release release so let's go pen 7 i press pen 7 also it shows 7 uh, 15 and if i press 13 it shows 13 and 14 but the problem is that uh, pen 7 now released so it can hold it so let's go pen 3 no it shows 12 maybe there is a delay yes and it's not showing maybe it takes some time now 8 8 and 16 every time I press 8 it shows 8 and 16 7 7 and 15 4 4 and 12 3 3 and 11 3 and 11 let's press 2 2 and 6 press 5 5 and 13 so it behaves like that that didn't work for my application so you might try to find out now I have moved the jumper back in this side and it works back as normal one thing to notice is that once you move the jumper from the old spot to here to the normal operation make sure to disconnect it from power otherwise the old uh, configuration will still be active now I have removed the Arduino it's just 5 volts power to this two pins and I've removed also the jumper once you remove the jumper this 8 button will work not 16 because we have 8 output and each button has a corresponding line for example button 1 it has out 1 button 2 has out 2 and so forth up to 8 out 8 here so all these are available now I've connected this to to this 5 volt relay and the relay is now because I'm not touching the output is low and this relay is on because this is a low trigger uh, uh, because this is a low trigger relay and when you press it this goes off on so it's just responding <coughs> and you can use different pen of this to turn on and off your load thank you for watching this was how to use this 
16 button TTP229. If you like this video, learn something, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. For my upcoming videos, if you subscribe, you'll get updates.